back. Uh, all righty, guys. Okay. Grand finals. No randoms. Three. Real yeah. characters. <laughs> Go. I really want to see this set right here. Um, you know, Vin, widely considered the best Zelda stretch. One of the best we've seen this for sure right now. I really want to see how this particular style, like, very aggressive, uh, we've seen is going to go in this matchup here. Well, so far, it's looking kind of decent. Oh, what? Oh, he got the, did he get a trade? Yeah, he got his okay. down tilt to trade with uh, Ben holding down on his up B. He's like the only person I've seen all night actually hit Ben out of that move at the ledge. Kind of funny. But really good start right here for Stretch. Oh, interesting. I like the counter there, actually, because Ben often um, throws the hitbox of oh. the up B out before he grabs the ledge. So if he did get that counter to connect, probably would have killed but not even needing the counter to get that first stock there. Something else I noticed, or I re recall from uh, Vin's set versus Cosmos. Nice spike. Oh, I like the up B though. <laughs> Just get the damage even though you're going to die. That was actually nice. But uh, something I remember from watching Vin go up against Cosmos is that he was actually really susceptible to having his knight countered with the down B. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Corrin down B isn't exactly the same as Lucina, but the concept is very similar. Like, if Stretch is in the right spot while Vin's throwing out that move, he can actually die incredibly early. So right. he's got to be really careful. Yeah, it's not like uh, Zelda's a very heavy character either, so you got to be very careful with a lot of your placements. And Stretch so far has been doing a great job being aggressive and calling out a lot of options from Ven in general. Yes. There it is, man. Those big hitboxes are definitely going to come in clutch here because Ben does not want to sit at ledge. And, and Stretch, honestly, wants you to just get up. Do a neutral get up. That's what Stretch wants. Yeah. But in the yeah. event that you don't, here's a back air. Here's an up air. <laughs> like, you're going to yeah. roll in. Here's a forward smash. Like, there's yeah. just so many options. Like, Stretch is doing such a good job. His ledge trapping and edge guarding has been on point all night. And another back air. Going to be able to close out that stock. Super great stuff. Yeah, Vin going a little crazy off stage there, trying to make something happen. But uh, yeah, Stretch is just going to get back on stage relatively easily. And now, yeah, I like the the patient play here. Just kind of waiting for Vin to throw his, uh, throw his knight and then punching accordingly. Not really uh, overextending, really. Just holding on to the lead very well. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff so far, man. Stretch has been on an absolute tear throughout this whole bracket. And right now in the game one Ooh. of Grand Finals, he continues his tear, but Ven's going to live just a little bit longer. Can Stretch find a way to close this out? Another forward smash. Not going to be enough, though. Oh. Oh, he threw that out too early. Yeah, very scary recovery there for Ven. Again, going... Oh, wow. What an up there. I can't believe he got that to work. I... But yeah, going off stage with that preemptive down air. Trying to make something happen. Let's see, though. This is the last stock, so... Stretch is not... Super in the clear here just yet. Okay. Back to the ledge. Ooh, with that Lucina Nair catching the neutral get up. Great timing. Honestly, uh, yeah, again, Stretch's ledge trapping has been very, very good. Just great timing on his punches. Mm -hmm. uh, very consistent. And uh, that's a pretty strong game one from, from Stretch. Yeah, um, I, I, it's... I, I don't know what else to say. He's just... He's been uh, absolutely aggressive uh, on, on top of the fact that it's his, like, his lead trapping and edge guarding, especially in this matchup with Zelda, has been absolutely fantastic. Like he's his, he's using his rushdown abilities and those big hitboxes from Lucina, obviously to build up some damage and try to send Zelda off stage. And by doing that, he gets rewarded by putting essentially what seems to feel like Ven into like really bad spots of just like, hey, choose how you want to get hit next because it's coming. So, I mean, we'll have to see what adaptations Ven can use or, or make to kind of turn this around. Maybe go to a larger stage, because Smashville, I definitely did not feel like it was it. Yeah, I I, don't, I wouldn't want to fight Stretch on a small stage, honestly. Right. You just, one, you're using a disjoint, so it's going to cover a lot of the stage anyway, but the way he plays is a very aggressive. So, uh, having less um, room to run away is kind of hard but Ben does like this stage so he's gonna run it back 
And uh, let's see, let's see what he can do to adapt here. I feel like that was a super strong game one for uh, for stretch. Let's see, I'm just gonna go here. So yeah, we are back at Smashville right now. Ven's looking a little bit better, but Stretch still applying a lot of pressure so far. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, barely avoiding getting sniped off station. Ooh. There's that counter again. You got, again, you have to be really, really careful with how you use the knight. Stretch is definitely going for an option right there too. Holy! <laughs> He's trying to get a hard read. Oh, but there's the F smash again. Ben's been getting that uh, ledge trap pretty consistently uh, all tournament. Mm -hmm. Lulling you into a false sense of security with the knight and then just throwing out that force smash. Yo, the uh, patience that Ven has in recovering here too. Stretch is a... Uh, I feel like Stretch is eventually going to find the timing down on this Pharaoh's win or exactly how uh, they want to recover here. But wow. Oh, oh, I like, was... well, he's died, but I especially like the idea of using the Nehru's to hit him into the night swing. That would have been amazing if he got that to work. If he if he did get it to, to work, that would <laughs> that would have been absolutely insane. I mean, you still got the stock, but like you missed out on some style points. But yeah. you know, whatever, dub's a dub. And right now, Ven's really showing uh adaptation uh so far it just looks completely different from game one game one was definitely a wake-up call oh yeah Ooh, the night placement so good luckily for stretch saving his jump so he's not completely dead but man huge huge lead here for Ben. great dolphin slash has shield though let's see let's see if stretch can get something started here he does we you know when he does get his, his engine rolling he gets mm. huge punches but, uh, yeah, Vin's not going to make that super easy right there. Nice timing to get the shield out before getting completely destroyed by that force smash, but pretty much hanging on by a thread right now. Not oh. quite going to be able to uh, get the conversion there, Ooh. but the Pharaohs win. The punish on for just landing on the shield is going to be enough to take away that game two. Ven looking a lot better after game one. But, I mean, we've seen Stretch go down before and has made the uh, the right plays and right uh, changes to the game plan needed to kind of make a comeback. So, uh, this game three, I mean, it goes without saying, but it's going to be very important. Yes. Yeah, what a huge turnaround from the first game. Uh, especially because, like, you know, Stretch just kind of did what was working really well in the first game. So, he's like, it worked out. Um, no real reason to deviate from the strategy, but then Ben just came around and adapted super hard. So uh, I want to see how Stretch is going to respond here in game three. All right, well, here we go in the game three. three two, Ooh, battlefield. Okay, looks we're going to Battlefield. Okay. I mean, this still kind of gives Zelda that platform to work under uh, and kind of having to force Stretch to, uh, you know, at least, at least make some sort of advancement. But we'll see exactly how effective Stretch can be doing that because... Uh, I mean, Ven, once they kind of get that wall going, it just, it, honestly, it feels super impressive. Yes. I think here, though, Stretch, when he does get a juggle opportunity, he just wants to use the platforms to just continue to trap uh, Zelda's landings. Just because he doesn't really have great landing options outside of using the Nehru's. But, yeah, getting started on, you know, those juggles is not going to be easy whatsoever, especially the way that Ven is setting up the night on stage. But here's an opportunity here. Yep, there's the Nehru's. I like the uh, retreat to the platform there. Stretch is looking for a roll on stage, but Vin not giving it to him. Oh man, that's just some good uh, patient gameplay right there. Stretch not worrying. Oh wow, that was really uh, nerve wracking. But you know what? Stretch has been, uh, you know, really patient the entire night playing defensive when they need to so like he's just he he knows that there's a lot of trouble but he's just not letting it get to his head he's just playing the game he needs to play and that's going to be huge punish unfortunately not going to get the right angle on the teleport and ven's going to suffer for that one hard yeah one of the few times i've seen him actually mess up his uh, teleport recovery like that but uh, yeah stress is definitely going to capitalize if you give him a free opening like that and i love the dolphin slashes that shield such as quick option to catch Vin uh, pressing some unsafe buttons on his shield. Yeah, and 61 on the second stock, definitely good for Stretch right now. Man, just got, these guys are just going back and forth, man. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I like to see. I like to watch two players compete and... Oh, okay, wow, gotta get that counter. counter right there. And, hey, getting that little stall, uh, stall too, with the, um, the side, uh, side beat, the one there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Ooh. First, oh, and slash. Hey, I don't think he meant to get up attack, actually. Because yeah. he could have positioned uh, another back there. I'm pretty sure that's what he wanted, man. Uh, Stretch has definitely been on some stuff tonight. There's been a few conversions from them that are just absolutely insane. Gonna clean up that second stock too with that Nair. Uh, so I'm sure Stretch has a has a lot of uh, tools in the, you know, the toy chest and whatnot. So we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, if he's able to kind of get that a little more consistently next time. Yeah, I, I really like how Stretch is approaching this match right here. Um, when he does get a hit, he's just trying to take it as far as he can, but he's not forcing it whatsoever. Just really just playing very patiently with the lead he has right now. All right, okay. nice attack. Yeah, this is kind of looking like uh, similar to uh, game two, except, you know, Ven was in this position instead. Yep. Uh, had like... Uh, uh, did he air dodge? Well, basically there, um, he just got hit off stage and then didn't start his up B until he was very, very low. I don't know, kind of like... During a headlights moment there, Vin just didn't press any buttons off stage. Very strange. Did he lose his jump somehow? Uh, he might have. Like, he might have gotten episodes out of his double jump. And then that's why he started his up B so late, because he was thinking he had a jump. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not certain. Hmm. Yeah, well, kind, of, kind of a weird way to go out there. Okay, well... Stretch now within one game away of finding a way to reset the bracket. We'll have to see if he's going to be able to convert. Um, he's been doing really well. Uh, remaining aggressive, finding ways around that night. That's the big game plan here is just finding uh, different ways around that and then getting the punish for even trying to set it up. And then from there, he's just been doing a good job. He needs to uh, see if he can try to find a way to be more consistent at that ledge. Uh, there's been a lot he's been fishing for a lot of stuff been attempting a lot of stuff which i totally I, I love seeing but it's just a matter of ex getting that execution down finding a way to actually convert on it and we'll have to see if stretch can find a way to do that in game four definitely definitely um yeah doing things preemptively can definitely backfire on you if the opponent's looking out for it so you uh definitely don't want to just throw things out hoping they hit at this point in the bracket especially right 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 because right now, Stretch loses two more games, and that's it. That's bracket. <laughs> Looking really good, though, so far. Right. It's just a matter of uh, how well both players will execute from here on out. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Alright, there we go. Gonna be playing on PS2 here. Oh, the knight? Okay, I thought somehow Stretch got through it, but apparently not. Yeah, so far Stretch's uh, game plan has been to stay at a respectable distance to let Ben kind of start, you know, his knight uh, ledge setup. And then try to find the openings from there. Not really, you know, just rush in too much. Just because he knows, like, if he gets a hit, you can take it relatively far. Just again, not trying to force it too much. And that's probably the best course of action. Oh wow, finding a way through that night too. Uh, not having to worry about uh, the hitbox flying out after that. But oh, big conversion there. G being able to land. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Got the down air to convert into the forward smash, and then got the counter to clean up that stock. Ven was in control for the large majority of the, this match so far and then stretch got a couple small openings and just turned them into a whole stock uh this is going to be dangerous for ven he's got to find another way to try to even things up here oh man is. too or too early on the counter there unfortunate for stretch but nice for smash to tag him out of the jump fortunately no two frame there but still this is a uh, really good damage for stretch right now mm -hmm. all right Probably could have gotten a bigger punish uh, out of that Dolphin Slash, but decided to just opt for the down smash instead, just to kind of make sure that they got a little bit of damage. 
Oh, drop shield at the perfect time. Otherwise, very, very in danger of getting shield broken on the platform. I just like that option choice in general because people like instinctively shield on the platform to begin with. You can catch people right. sleeping with the easy shield breaks uh, like that. And we saw we saw Stretch get that shield break earlier on Burst when he was playing uh, Ice Climbers. Got a double shield break actually. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Oh, nice early up B to get past the dog wow. side and then another huge counter, man. His counter placement has been so unconventional, but very effective. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's two counter kills so far. Both stocks gone to counters. So it's really just a matter of Ven trying to recognize when's the right time to attack and stretch, recognizing that the time to attack is always now, man. Oh my. Yeah, huge, huge stream there for stretch. And uh, yeah, Ven just uh, continuously finding himself on the back foot in this match, trying to get things started. But yes, stretch is just really good at mixing up defense and offense. Not easy to find a huge opening. Again, there's that dolphin slash so fast. Yo, okay, so see, I, I feel like this is what we saw. It, oh my, Ooh. this is exactly what we saw in Stretch's game against Vixel. We saw game one and two fairly competitive, right? And then game three comes around and Stretch just turns it to another level. Yeah. He started making all these plays. He started calling out all sorts of options from Ven and just exploiting any sort of like hesitation. It's it, it This was absolutely insane. Stretch has got all the momentum in the world behind him going into this grand finals reset. Ven is in a lot of trouble. They got to find a way to turn this around quick because Stretch is absolutely on fire. Yeah, for sure. Like, like you said, the momentum's like all in his court right now. Like he's just been blowing through losers, playing consistently well throughout the entire losers bracket, and now finds himself in the reset in grand finals after like two pretty dominant games. Uh, yeah, it's just very impressive with how Stretch has been able to adapt to his opponents, even after like matches where he just almost gets two stocked, loses pretty badly, just comes out swinging in the next one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it's really uh, on Ben here to figure out how he can get back in this set. If not, then uh, yeah, it's just probably going to be the, the stretch uh, show for this second one. I mean, it's like you could see it really start to click after like it was towards the end of that last stock. Um, you saw Str I saw stretch like he take it. He took a couple like very strong options, calling out a couple of things from Ben, and then there's like this bit of movement that he starts doing like he get it's almost looking like it's erratic but it's entirely calculated <laughs> yeah. and it, it just looks absolutely insane like you could you could see when he's like all right it's time to kick it up now and it turned into the final stock to get the reset stretch stretches i got i got nothing else to say man stretch has been killing it uh ven has has got to figure out something right now this is crisis mode it's do or die you you have no other uh, chances after this so yeah let's see what ven can can get going here to find a way to turn this around because otherwise this is a stretch set yeah yeah he definitely has to find a way to stifle the momentum that stretch has coming into this and um he's gonna choose this run it right back to pokemon stadium too honestly i don't think it's a bad idea i don't think the stage was really the reason why he uh, lost that game it was just getting overwhelmed by stretch mm -hmm. pretty much so yeah coming into this uh... he doesn't want to let that happen again and he's also got to watch his recoveries too because he, he was getting countered at a really bad spot because he just has that habit of always holding down with the hitbox on his uh, up b mm -hmm. and that's uh that's part of the game plan what we saw right there at the very beginning is exactly what happened at the beginning of game four we saw Ben really kind of creating that wall, you know, getting that knight up. And Stretch, honestly, took his time. Yep. He, he'll he dash in and dash right back out and just stand there. Just wait, hold shield. Uh, he His movement is is impeccable, honestly. Uh, he He's not rushing anything. He's taking his time. He's finding the right times to go in. And honestly, when you're going against Zelda, that's exactly what you need to be doing. Exactly. Go, not Ooh. rushing anything, almost getting a wow. little down smash. I like the tech from Vin, but I especially like that Dolphin Slash uh, to get to the ledge as well. Very safe. 
that was actually insane earlier. Uh, the first time he's knocked Ben off stage, he back aired away from Zelda, which allowed him to turn around. So he got another back air opportunity, actually facing Zelda that time, and was able to knock Ben off stage. And now he's got this very good lead. Ooh. The side B dancing blade is going to be able to secure that first stock. Uh, stretch looking very good right now. Oh, huge Ooh. combo, man. Love that Dancing Blade 1. And the Beer vs. Shield Breaker at 44. It's probably dead here. Oh, no, no. It's not Marth. Uh. <laughs> but it still has a lot of damage. And very demoralizing, honestly. Do you think again, the momentum is not stopping for Stretch right now. Do you think he could have got a kill with a with a smash attack at all? or? Uh, Okay, if he probably pushed... Zelda to the ledge, maybe, but that's very hard to do uh, without him also going in tumble. Yeah. So yeah. Still okay. huge leader already for stretch. Yep. Been for trying to while. get to the center stage, but oh my goodness, <laughs> stretch is just reading his ledge options so hard right now. Oh my. Great tech though. Yeah, great tech, but still. Stretch holding onto the stock, holding onto the stage control. There's the up air. Just yeah, finding a way to get Stretch off of him, but still pinned to the corner of the stage. Very close to dying here. And uh, has no real opportunity to get his knight set up on stage. It stretches is smothering him at the corner. It's like... Stretch thrives in the scramble. As soon as he knows that his opponents are on their heels, just trying to like get their balance, Stretch just has a way of just pushing that even further to a point where it almost feels like it's impossible to beat him. And like we've seen that like two or three times now. He, he gets a small opening and you can see Ven is scrambling just to kind of get out of disadvantage. And Stretch just has a way to smother every possible option out. It's been absolutely insane. Yeah. And that's also just a, a weakness of uh, Zelda in the first place. Mm -hmm. if, if he's not using that Nehru's, uh, she has... Not that many tools to just get out of high pressure situations. But yep. there's that up B. He's got to be careful with that as well. Stretch kind of has a read on that uh, up B um, habit from Ben. Luckily, he doesn't get hard punished for it that time, though. Okay. Trying to see if he can snag a landing of Lucina, but again, Stretch playing relatively patiently until he lands directly into that four smash. 37 actually isn't super bad for Ben. But again, he has to make uh, something happen. He doesn't really, hasn't really had that many chances to really build his momentum, really. Okay, okay. great grab. There you go, back to that patient gameplay, knowing the knight is out and recognizing I don't have to go in. I don't have to do anything here. I'll just wait till the knight's gone and I'll try to find another uh, way in after that. Exactly. Now he can hit Zelda before the knight's active to get rid of it, but that's just a lot less safe than just, you know, paying, staying patient on stage, just waiting for the animation to be done, and then going in from there. Oh, uh -oh. the oh. knight actually saved Zelda. He actually body blocked Lucina so he couldn't get the jab lock on the miss tech. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, weird uh, situation there. It looked like he got oh. the up tilt, but then the knight pushed him out of the way. Yep, gonna Dolphin Slash right to the stage. The Knight gonna get a hit in there, though. Oh. Ooh, that was scary. Yeah, nice catch on the landing there for Vin. Oh, my goodness. Destroying the Knight and getting the Dancing Blade to work. Or, sorry, the Dolphin Slash. At the ledge once again here. Nice yeah, air dodge to get past all that pressure. Ben has been doing a good job pushing the pressure here, trying to get something going. And now Stretch is in a bad spot. Going to be able to get back to the ledge, though. Going Ooh, for the forward smash, and that's going to cost Ben. Oh. Yeah, Ben loves that forward smash for the ledge trap with the knight there. But yeah, uh, Stretch just stayed patient, waited for that whole animation to end, and just snuck in the back air uh, to take that first game. Man, that was... Man, Vin was doing a good job bringing that back, but just one kind of uh, greedy play at the end ended up costing him. Jeez, this is a... Uh... <laughs> that was very back and forth towards the end there. Uh, Vin did a very good job uh, finding ways to try and turn turn around the advantage state. Uh, and as soon as Vin got that advantage state, just found ways to try to push it, put that pressure on the stretch. Unfortunately, it just was not enough as Stretch was able to find a way. Fortunately, Ven was trying to be a little too greedy and Ven uh, got punished for it with that back air to close out that game too. Um, 
I mean, I'm not sure. Like, Ven's not playing bad, but, like, Stretch, again, was clutch at the end there, but has found ways to just rack up a shitload of damage a few times and then just push Zelda offstage repeatedly time and time again. I don't know what else Ven needs to do. Yeah, honestly, um, he did get a good job of bringing it back at the at the end of that previous game. It just came down to him just getting a little bit greedy at the end. So honestly, you know, in order to really change up how he's playing at the end, just don't go for too many super risky things in those scramble situations. Mm -hmm. Like this this uh, type of distance he's playing on the stage is relatively safe. It's, as long as he just doesn't get put in a uh, position where he just has no stage control and just constantly like in disadvantage, I think he can contend with how Stretch is playing. Right. Oh, I don't... Okay, he, he does get that neighbors to work, but yeah. I thought that was going to be like an easy grab, like throw Lucina off stage, set up the knight, but just didn't get opportunity to go for it. I like these dash attacks. He's starting to catch uh, Stretch's landings pretty well. Ooh, Ooh. Almost spiked him into the, the knight there. That would have been crazy. Yeah, but there's that opening from Stretch. We'll see how fur, far he can... Uh... He can take this and all right, so not too much, not too much on Ven, but still enough to kind of like make a statement. Yeah, he, even if he doesn't get a lot of damage, uh, something I'm just noticing from Stretch is that he will prioritize just pushing Ven to the corner of the stage, but there's that up air sharking through the ledge once again. It's just very deceptive hitbox. A lot of people just aren't expecting that move to connect that far away, but yeah, Ven keeps finding it. And uh, that's exactly what he needs. Oh, missing the tech, but he's, yeah, he's going to make it back. No Legend invincibility here, so he's going to hold down. Yeah, nice spacing. Um, yeah, this is the first time that Vin has had the first stock lead in a while, and he's trying to push it as far as he can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far, 52% extra credit. I mean, Ven's doing a good job right now, uh, getting out of a lot of uh, shaky situations that Stretch has put him in, and just really just being the aggressor. He's been in the driver's seat the entire time, dictating the pace um forcing the tempo into their favor we'll have to see if ven can keep this going dolphin slash gonna send him off stage if stretch can get this stock here without taking too much damage uh he should be relatively fine forward tilt's not gonna be enough trying to see what the option's gonna be all right oh nice Ooh. timing on the roll yeah i actually like that uh that up back to the ledge just because if stretch was in space uh, properly, he would have gotten tagged by it anyway. Mm -hmm. And at, at this point, I think Zelda or Vin's just like, let me just stay alive as long as possible. And if I can force a trade situation, that's that's good for me. That beautiful knight placement from uh, Ven as well. Uh, just kind of forcing the knight to slash that ledge, which gave him the opportunity to get up from the ledge, no problem. Oh, but there's a reverse snare catching the roll. Oh, and he snags the jump. Yeah, Stretch likes to do that stall with the side B1, you know, to, you know, waste his opponent's invincibility. But, uh, Ben just calling out that jump super hard there. And again, this is like the biggest lead that Ben has had so far. Let's see how far he can take it. Definitely can't sleep on Stretch's punish game, though. Been very strong in these positions. Nice punish. Okay, there we go. Stretch has got to get something a little a little more consistent going here if he wants to find a way to close this game out in a 3-0 situation. Right now, man, Ven's doing a fantastic job just staying alive. Oh. Ooh, big forward smash. Oh, nice. Again, that's a nice setup at the ledge as well. Ooh, nice little dance oh. played one. Oh! Wow, super brave shield breaker to get back on stage. Oh, I like that recovery from Ven. Stretch is trying to position good. himself to get a down air, but Ben. Oh, wow. Dash attack. <laughs> Again, <laughs> catching the landing. Uh, that's just something that Ben's actually been doing really well in that game. Is just trying to wait and see how uh, Stretch likes to use his jumps. And then either catching his landing with mixture of dash attack, grab, and uh, the knight. And I think that's just really been helping him uh, closing out these games. Because now he can condition... Uh, stretch to not jump as much and that's usually how he gets a lot of his damage and from being a jump in aerial no no it's it's definitely you you're absolutely on the money it looked like ven uh was definitely finding a lot of um 
a lot of damage off those landings, off of the movements. Like it's 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 like they took the time to realize, okay, so Stretch is obviously waiting for Knight and a few other things, you know, just making sure they have a, a safe approach. And it, it looks like Ben is definitely um, taking notice and just finding some sort of counterplay to it. And I mean, it worked out great because they got a lot of mileage off of it. I ended up taking a game three to stop the 3-0 from happening. But you got game four now, you're still facing elimination here. So we'll have to see if Ven has got more left in the gas tank just to force a game five. Yeah, this stretch is counter pick now though. And it took like two or three games on Pokemon Stadium for Ven to finally take a, a game here. So I don't, I don't know. I don't expect to see another Pokemon Stadium match, but uh, stranger things have happened. Oh, I was completely wrong. <laughs> okay. Stretch pretty confident he can win on this stage. I mean, oh, that's, a... that's just a me thing. Like, I personally, if my opponent beats me on a stage, I don't like to let him play on it again. Even if it was like a close game or it's like a good stage for me personally. Mm -hmm. I just don't want my opponent to feel comfortable in this set. But, uh, let's see. Let's see how Stretch changes up this game. Personally, if he wants to win, I would say just really mix up the timing on that. Uh, he's jumping in so he doesn't get grabbed and dash attack as much. I mean, right there, he just kind of held shield and waited for Ben to be aggressive, recognizing the pattern from game three. Ben's got no problem doing those dash attacks, trying to be uh, a bit more aggressive with some grabs, and he just waited for it. Uh-oh, tough spot. Ooh. Oh, 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 crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy setup with the knight into the taper forward air there. And again, Ben finds himself with the first stock. Like, he was able to push it so hard in the game before this. Oh, again, that right. up air shocking through ledge. Oh, oh got okay. the trade. Yeah, he gets the trade, but Ben will take a trade on the ledge any day until he rolls directly into that Lucina forward smash. This time only getting 25%. Definitely not what he wanted. Here we go, man. Stretch got that opening. Is finding a way to be aggressive here. Oh, okay. Ben will take that trade with the knight, even though he eats the four tilt there. Nice. Oh, landing dare. Oh, no. And these, these F tilt spacing is starting to come out now from Stretch. Ooh, unsafe forward smash though on shield. Gotta be careful with those. Ben will definitely take a chance <laughs> to steal a stock like that. Beautiful parry on the dolphin slash. And in the night somehow to snag him under the ledge. That was actually perfect placement. Ooh. 48% already. Yeah, Ben is eating up these free hits right now. And again, these landings are getting a little bit too predictable for Ben to get these dash stack punches. Stretch's gotta be very careful in this position. Nice. Oh, I like the stall and the recovery to avoid getting hit by the Dolphin Slash. Okay. Yeah, Vin's starting to apply a lot of pressure now. Yeah, no, Stretch is definitely in a tough spot here. Ooh, right. Oh, yep. brilliant. Up B.I. Oh. Shield. He's not dead, but so much percent. And that's just a tell that Vin has a... A real on how he's trying to land into him. He's ready for that up B out of shield. Oh, nice mix up at the ledge. But okay. too greedy. Too greedy with the dash attack there. Gets snagged by the shield breaker. Let's see if Stretch can make another uh, great comeback happen here. This punish game has been pretty good when he gets that hit. But yeah, uh, Ben is just trying to play around that as much as possible. Right now, Stretch has Ben off stage. We know how his edge guarding has worked. He's very confident in this. Okay, not going to get too much else. He's definitely working these forward tilts right now. Though. Oh my god, that was a great little call out. And uh, this is probably part of that scramble that uh, I've brought up before. <laughs> as soon as he gets Ben a little uncomfortable, he's find, able to find ways to just push that ever further. Okay, but we're going to get it back to a bit of a neutral here. Yeah, I think Ben recognized that too. He's like, okay, he's starting to get a little bit too hot. I need to neutralize the situation, slow things down and uh, not give him too much of an advantage here. Don't give him an opportunity to build on his momentum, but, oh, he didn't oh. go for the up one. That was actually, that was that was it, I think. 
Oh, 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 jeez, there's, there's, there's a lot yeah. of stuff going on. Yeah, right, they're the both scrambling a little swipe. bit. Eee. Nice pressure at the ledge, but great patience from Stretch here. Oh, he's got to be so careful. <laughs> Almost getting destroyed by the Knight once again. Yeah, Ven has to be careful because Stretch does have half rage right now. This could oh. be a situation. Back at the ledge once again. Yeah, he stalls his up oh. B to avoid the counter. Very, very smart recovery for Vin. Stretch find, trying to find an opening here, though. Vin just playing very evasive. Sneaks in the dash attack, but he's barely able to live. Watch the ledge. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. my God. Stretch. He's just finding his way back on stage in these super, super scary spots. E Oh, oh but there's yeah. the up throw <laughs> in case you guys forgot about Zelda's other kill throw. Oh man, that was kind of insane. That oh, stretch found so many ways to, to barely hang on. And you you gotta think that Ven was definitely uh, stressing out a little bit. Cause I mean, you, you he continues to live, he builds up that rage more and more. And it's like every time he got in, and just found a way to, to hit Ven off stage, like it, it just sets in a little bit more. So thankfully, Ven was able to find a way to close out that game. And we're going into a game five situation here. Uh, is it game five or game four? I think it's game four. Game four. I think game, it's four, game, two four. game four. Oh, game four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I, I'm predicting the future here. <laughs> But yeah, uh, no, we're going into a game four situation. Now, Ven is in the driver's seat here. Uh, this, it's almost the same as last time, right? Like, uh, we're, oh no, they kind of changed, traded games back and forth. But okay. Um, but yeah, still up, two up, up, up two one right now. And then all you gotta do is just win one more game. It shuts out stretch. Don't have to worry about any more edge guards or ledge trapping. So we'll just have to see if Ven's able to make this game happen or we're gonna see stretch just, uh, really just turn it on like and i yeah. wouldn't be surprised if we got that yeah honestly i wouldn't be surprised to see a game five like they've both just been going back and forth and uh yeah, especially the games where stretch has been able to win have just been super dominant here so uh let's see let's see how this goes we're running it again back to pokemon stadium 2 for like the fourth match now let's see let's see how this works out here for stretch tournament life on the line here falling into that force match though gotta be very careful almost got the force match into the night that would have been really really disgusting and a really poor way for stretch to start off uh this game here yep there we go okay smart option there actually uh dashed in got like a hit and then just kind of waited and said you know what i'm just gonna bounce right out of here just reset neutral a uh, smart idea from Stretch, but right now, man, it's giving Ooh. Ben the opening to take the early lead as they Dude. find that lightning kick. Ooh. I love the delay on the uh, forward air as well. Just waiting out the shield drop to get the tip for uh, forward air. That was so clean. Oh, and, oh, and that's an no. SD. Oh, no. Oh. Not on your tournament game, potentially. You don't want to just SD for the first time. Oh, not like is, that this is so unfortunate especially in this type of matchup like it's very difficult to get in on this character already so now you're like so far behind and they can just continue to just hang back and play so safe no real reason for vin to just take any huge risk now but that's a good four there to catch him in the nehru's yeah it only took 34 percent on that on that first or third stock so I mean, potentially we could see that turnaround, but like, Ven's been really elusive like this whole set. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, he has to really dig deep to bring this one back, I feel. Not impossible, though. Oh, definitely not impossible. Yep, there's the knight. Again, I actually really like the position he's using the knight here because one he has the dins there and if he tries to jump in on him he's like has the safety of the platform as well to where he can just cover so many options it's actually very difficult to get in uh against that mm -hmm. okay, okay go for the off stage play here oh but there's that up air through the ledge once again oh. huge huge lead here for vin yeah at 129 I, I don't know. It's really hard to say that. Ooh. Okay, that's a good start, but 
you got to go through a whole nother stock at 129 yes. and ex you expect me to think that you're not going to die here that's that's gonna be real tough <laughs> and there's that dash attack yeah to close it out uh oh, congratulations man. to ven winning yep. msm online 25. Yes, great, great stuff, and been really uh, digging deep and making that comeback happen. Unfortunately, the SD played a huge factor for that game, um, but it is what it is. It's just rough that it it had to go down to SD when he was playing so well the entire time. But um, yeah, it's rough.